Welcome, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to this service of worship. As we gather together in our various places, many of us at home, but all of us made one in Christ, as we prepare to begin a new week and see what this week and the end of the month of May bring us. It's also Memorial Day weekend, and in this season of remembrance as it comes around each year, though again, some of the public observances are canceled or deferred or however they're, they're worked around, I want us to lift up for all the distractions that the year 2020 has brought us to remember this Memorial Day, those who have served and who have passed in this year, that in just a few short weeks at the beginning of 2020, we lost three who served this country in World War II and who were such important parts of our congregation. So to the memory of Joe Higginbotham, Elmer Crothers, and Herb Odell, we would remember and we would honor their service and our witness together. And also, this Memorial Day weekend, uh, as we so often say at times like this, they also serve who only stand and wait. The, the home front was such an important part of World War II and any conflict such as that. And I, I particularly want to lift up the memory of Annie Glenn. She died this past week at the age of 100. And the story of the love that she and John Glenn had marks our nation's history through World War II and Korea, the space program, the Senate, and so much service here in Ohio, and so much love and faith, which was an important part of their life and their marriage. So with her passing, we would honor those who served on the home front and remember Annie Glenn. In this time of remembrance, it is so right that we share together the prayer which Jesus continues to teach us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Let us continue in worship, whether through the music links on ahead in this playlist or that you click from the email or as we prepare for the sermon. And we'll be turning to Isaiah chapter 40 today for that. 